questions for this um, in that visioning segment. Another question I always ask when I'm meeting with new, new garden prospects is, who else is excited about this? Because if I'm sitting there with one person, um, they can be the most on fire person in the world. That is fantastic. And they should be. But if, nobody, if they haven't been able to get anybody else at the school or in the organization excited about the project, that's step one. Go out and talk to people and get them jazzed about it. Building the boxes or, or tilling up soil, that's the easiest part of the whole thing, right? You guys know that. Going out, having one day, building some beds, filling them with soil, taking a picture, hoorah. That's really, really easy. It's the sustaining and maintaining, and that takes people. So finding the right passionate people is the hardest part about school gardening, about gardening in general. The other stuff is easy. You can learn to garden. You can go to Green Teacher Networks. You can go to all kinds of stuff. You can learn that stuff. It's getting the people that are passionate and committed. That's the tricky thing. Um, came down to three slots. They're not going to do that. But if you go, so the example I always use is you go to the art teacher and say, hey, we've got this really exciting garden project and it would be awesome to be able to have some plant identification signs so that anybody that walks up can know that's romaine lettuce. The art teacher can incorporate that into a lesson. It can be part of what that art teacher already does well. Go to that PE teacher and say, hey, are you doing a, a healthy eating, healthy choices unit? When is that? How do we work together? So use what they're already doing, what they're good at, what their expertise is, and, and have that impact the garden project in some way. Don't force them into, into watering and weeding right away. Get them started with that early success, get some investment in the project, and it'll go a long way. It'll be, it'll be really helpful. Okay, so a new garden. Where are we going to put this new garden? Well, one thing...